needs a shot. Me. Yes. I love it. You guys need to drink. The more you drink, the prettier I get. I stole that from a drag queen. Wow. No, but that's also gonna true, be though. you by the end of this. Yes. 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 What were you going to say? No, you stole it, but it's also true. You do get prettier when I drink. Wow. Don't make it awkward. Oh, she said it first. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Auntie Mame can say that to Wow. <laughs> we all like, wow, did he really just say that out loud? I was really, I was really like, Trini, is that you? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You know what? I don't, okay, I don't take offense. I got to move to Wilton, not homestead. I don't, I don't take offense. Oh. No, you wouldn't. Right. We're centered. Oh, so let's do shots. <laughs> let's play our yes or no game called I'd Swallow That. Okay, I'm going to make six statements. And if the host agree, they'll take a shot. I'd Swallow That is sponsored by the LGBTQ plus community's favorite spirit brand. You know it. You love it. It's Bacardi. Bacardi is the world's <laughs> most loved rum brand. Wow. Bacardi is as diverse as our LGBTQ plus community. Our neighbors here in South Florida, they are the world's largest privately held spirits company. Bacardi is also a legacy name in their support of the LGBTQ plus community with sponsorships, pride embracements, and deep and passionate support of our LGBTQ plus charities and causes. And that's why tonight... It's happening out place. I swallow that with our favorite rum drink, Bacardi. Bacardi. Ah, Bacardi. 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 That's how my old deal used to say. Bacardi. All right, here we go. <laughs> Question number one. The Stonewall riots on June 28th, 1969, changed the life of the LGBTQ plus community forever. The historical truth is complex and witnesses disagree about which individual triggered the uprising when queer people fought back against harassment at Stonewall Inn. Although it is believed to have been started by butch lesbian and drag king Stormy Delavari, we, uh, what we know for sure is that the riots and marches that happened afterwards were led by four amazing individuals. Marsha P. Johnson, Sylvia Rivera, Miss Major, and Stormy Delavari. Question number one with Bacardi with a Bacardi shot. I'd swallow that. I love that gender nonconforming people have led our civil rights fight. Yeah. Yes. 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 Also, here comes the lesbian. Try to take credit for everything. Like, <laughs> oh, okay, wow. Here's the thing. Stormy, I don't, I, I, I oh. you know, she was more gender queer. She was more non-binary. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. Because when she dressed like a woman, it was escándalo. It was just beautiful from top to bottom. She was painted beautifully, the heels, everything. And then when she dressed like, you know, she dressed ma mask. Yep. The suits were perfectly tailored. Like, you would be respecting her Absolutely. Shit, Absolutely. You know? Like, beautiful ties. And just, like, her hair was just on point, you know? Maybe for that time, maybe she didn't know if she was, that she was non-binary. But she was definitely queer. Absolutely. You know? We'll take her yeah. as a lesbian. I'll take, I'll take her. her. I'll take her. I'll that give her to you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> You'll give her to me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, I love, and I love the fact that we are, for this show, kudos to production. Because a lot of times we don't announce, we don't speak about Miss Majors. Miss Majors is a wonderful human. I got a chance to meet Miss Majors. Yes. Miss Majors has she called me her little leather prince. You know, yes. I got a chance to hug her oh, at, at, a, at, a, at a pride. No, Miss Majors. She just recently had a, a, a child. She, so Miss Majors is a mom. Beautiful. She's amazing human, and so I'm glad. Kudos to production for identifying that, yeah. and kudos for production to fighting the norm. Because if you, I just recently saw a hetero uh, white cis type produced, in my opinion, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> documentary in which a individual said how the drag how Stormy made the first punch. And how the drag queens tried to knock down the door as, in a protest. This, like, several people said this. Then all of a sudden, this this Caucasian individual says, "No, no, 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 no." Now, mind you, five other people have just said the same story. He comes along and says, "No, it wasn't them. It was all of us." Pause. Can we take a moment and give credit where credit We're is due? due. Miss Majors will tell you the story about how she got her jaw broke that day. And, and how amazing it is to, to be able to tell that story. Don't eliminate, don't erase the stories, the mismages, the marshes. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think it doesn't matter because nobody really knows who threw the first brick, the first punch. We really honestly, like historically, we just don't know. But does it matter? No. What matters is that it happened and we're here today. Yeah. We can't knock, we can knock the cis white men who helped us legally, sure. those attorneys who okay. really helped us get laws passed and get us to where we needed to be to get to where we are today. But he should be, like, sitting down, taking several right, so seats. Well, I mean, it's yeah. the same thing, though. It's an unfortunate part. Like, I mean, we can all remember the tra tragedy that is the Stonewall movie from a few years Ooh, ago. Yeah, that where hurt. Where they had, like, the little white twink that threw the first brick. And uh, it was a mess. I stopped oh, watching oh. at that point. It was <laughs> a mess. Wait, what was <laughs> this? What was this? There was a movie. There was a Hollywood oh. movie about Stonewall. And it was completely inaccurate based off of almost any person that was right. alive. Which is yeah. okay because nobody saw it. Don't right. Nobody, okay, good, nobody fine. saw it. But the thing right. is, is that I, I, it's really what, what we're saying, though, as far as like what happened after. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that what happened then, it's very reminiscent, actually, of what's happening now. Yes. You know, when you think about the last year, 
right? All of the all of the strife, all of the laws, all who are the people that have been screaming the loudest? Trans people, drag performers, those people. They're telling queer people and cis queer people, please pay attention. Deja vu, huh? Please Deja pay vu. Attention. <laughs> and, yeah. and all and most most cis people, right? Because they are allowed to live in society and be undetected a lot of times mm -hmm. and they're they're fighting to be accepted and everything else. It's like they're just sweeping it under the rug and thinking that nothing's wrong. Yeah. Meanwhile, our our trans siblings are literally having like rights taken away and healthcare taken away and things like that. And being threatened. It's and, the exact yeah. same parallel. I mean, 50, 50 years later, it's the same parallel. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's really a very sad state because as a community, Stonewall needs to remind us constantly, we have got to remember our priorities. Mm -hmm. Our priorities are not to be accepted by cis straight people. Our priorities are to make a better society for us. Yeah. yeah. And it's Amen. like, we just don't, we just keep forgetting it. And it's, it's, it's really is one of those things that this is and quite also, sad. And also think about it too, we had just came off the civil rights movement. So we have folks, who, those, we, have, we have black folks who were, had, who were tired and had enough of the police. Yeah. And so yeah. I do think it does matter a little bit who kind of was the catalyst to get it started because I do We're believe done. that they, somebody said, you know what, hold on, we just got beat, we are, we're constantly getting beating. And the, so now you think about the black folks who got beat, now the gay folks who got beat. And so I think they all got together and said, hold up, enough is enough. And that's what I think is missing now is that we are not having those conversations and saying, you know what, enough is enough, that we will no longer get beat. And so I, what I did love about our recent pride is that we had more people come out and drag ish or, or, or clothes yes. that push the yeah. envelope. Yes. Because, you, because again, here in Florida, if someone would have pulled up somebody and said, hey, talk to me about your clothes, yeah. they could have gone to jail. But look through history, that was a law. Yeah. That was a law in New York that if you if you dressed outside of your gender, mm -hmm. you could have got yeah. taken into, yeah, into jail. Yeah, for a woman to wear a man's suit, and it would put your name in the paper. That's right. Or, 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 <laughs> yeah. or, or, yeah, yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. All of that. You would lose, you, you would lose your job, your family. Yeah. You know? I mean, it was horrible. And you know, we need something like that, like mm -hmm. you said, right? Which is why it's so important that July second, we're all going to be marching with We the People March, yes. right? Sign up right now at we uh, wtfmarch.org and. Um, you know, it's not just LGBTQ plus organizations. All of a sudden, now we've got the black organizations. We got the Latinos dealing with the undocumented that are being attacked here mm -hmm. in South Florida. Women with our reproductive rights. Right. There's a whole laundry list of people they're coming for, right? And Imagine now, if we all got together. And now we've Imagine. got it. So it, July, you know, July 2nd gives me a hope that we might be going towards that discrimination, you know? It's, it's one of those know? things to keep in mind, right? My my mother, she grew up during the civil rights Ooh, era and all Berta, that. Berta, hi. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta say hi to Berta. Hold on. Berta, we all gotta say hi. hi. We love What's you. Up, We're your biggest fan. We are. And I wanted to come to your birthday party, but Auntie said I couldn't. <laughs> That's what happened. Whatever. All right, go. No, love you. Here's the thing, right? My mom grew up in Jim Crow South, right? Mm -hmm. She was born in like 1946. Jim Crow South, all of that. And wow. she said something about what's been happening recently, right? This is a, my mom, straight, cis woman. And she told me when all of these laws started happening again, she said that she was fearful. She said, because if we don't stop it when it starts, it's just gonna keep going. And when you think about what they're doing to the Latin population and the undocumented immigrants and women and every, it's, we were the start. We were the start. We were the start. We were the start. All of these other Americans just kind of sat around like, well, it's not our problem. Yep. Absolutely. And then what happened? All of these legislators are like, oh, okay, great. We could, it's, it's, it's a party. Let's Fair keep game. on going. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's like, if we don't protect the most marginalized of us, We've already failed. We've already failed. We've already and, failed. and and they all they're doing is recycling, to your point. They're recycling. Oh, it worked. And and so they left them out. So we're gonna just do this. We're gonna try this here. 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 And what we have to learn is learn from history and stop it. Because the moment we've talked about this on the show many, 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 mm -hmm. many times, the moment that they get away with one is check marked. That's right. And 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 to your to your point, same same experience with the with mother, but taking it to a next level, they worry about our existence. Because now things didn't change until a, a white, a cis white woman said, look at the TV and said, hold on, that could be my child. That could be my brother. And that's what we need today. We need those folks to come in and realize that we are all the same. And ha luckily for them, their, their sibling, their brother, their mother, their uncle may not have came out. But the moment they do, that's when things change. Yeah. Both, yeah. And, and, both I think, and I think yeah. like, like we need the, the parents of those kids who already passed that stage mm -hmm. or who are passing, mm -hmm. right? Like me and my parents, like I need my parents to go support us a little harder because like to, to in their eyes, 
I'm good. Yeah. In their eyes, I got, okay. I'm going to be okay. Yeah. Right? I'm like hetero passing, yeah. mm-hmm. like I'm masculine. I'm okay. But no, I need them to go out there for my brothers and go sisters who are suffering okay. and voting That's to that right. regard. That's right. Because yeah. they're the not. That's yeah. the key. Yeah. Can I tell you one of my biggest accomplishments over the weekend? So I've got a Republican friend, right? And I was just having the conversations that we all have, right? Mm-hmm. That we need to have right now. And it's like, look, how do you vote for someone who wants me eliminated? How do you want yeah. no offense? Mm-hmm. You know, how, how do you want how do you vote for someone that wants me mm-hmm. not to breathe? Right. And after a long, long debate, he decided, he said, you know what? I'll give you this. I won't show up to vote. I'll take Fine, it. Bitch. No, but Fine, that, bitch. Okay, that, but that, 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 that but vote, that's, that's something. That's a win. That's something. Like, that's a win. That is a win. win. Folks out there, that might be a good way for you to go also. Maybe you've got a family member that just doesn't know and they vote Republican their whole entire life because maybe they're Cuban and crazy, right? And they just have to vote that way. <laughs> and maybe they won't vote this time because they love you more, right? So try it out. Who knows, right? Who knows? All right. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show brought to you from Happening Out Television Network. We operate in the same model of PBS and NPR, but for the LGBTQ plus community. We educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of our LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching us on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the story going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.